Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we will be seeing an open source GPT-4 alternative. Yeah, you heard it right. We are going to explore Lava, like large language and vision assistant model. It's basically equivalent to GPT-4 with visual assistant, okay? So in this particular video, we'll see how to run this model, give commands to our model and take back the output from that. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so Large Language and Vision Assistant Model is a joint project of University of Wisconsin Medicine, Microsoft Research and Columbia University. Okay, the model seems like really promising if you want to read like the paper you can do that as well okay there's a github repository for that as well for someone who needs to like uh, install it on local machine if you want me to set this up on local machine as well just drop down the comment and i will make the video on that as well okay so this is the github repository okay you can read more about this thing from here uh, in this particular video, I'll be just running this thing on like a uh, collab, okay? I actually prefer collab because of its convenience and like uh, it's really an efficient way to run these models. All right, here is the collab. You can see right over here. It's just a small like uh, three to four cell code. I will list this thing down uh, in the description as well. Okay, so first of all, you need to make sure that your runtime is actually the GPU one. Okay, not simple CPU. And you need to run this sheet cell by cell. Okay, so uh, first of all, it will install the dependencies for you. All right, so the first thing is done. Now we need to run in the second cell. Okay, it's also done. And now the third one, we will be using like Gradio Web Server to run this thing. So let's see how it goes. So all right, here it just provided us with the URL, the public URL. So I want you to click on this public URL to actually access this thing. Okay, so you can see right over here that this link like it's available for 72 hours like it's a big number you will be using the collabs resources for like 72 hours if you don't want to like uh, uh, shut that one down so that's why i prefer collab because it's free it's more convenient so all right you can see that our ui has just been loaded and now we will be testing this thing out let's see with uh, examples so i'll just click on first one and the prompt is like, what is unusual about this image? Let's send this thing to see whether it works or not. It's up and running. And okay, so just you can see right over here that our example was like, this is an image. And I'm just asking, what is unusual about this image? Okay, the speed actually is good. You can see right over here that it just generated it in a while. It says like the unusual aspect of this image is that a man is standing on a clothesline attached to a yellow car which is driving down a busy street this is not a typical sight as people usually do not use cars as mean of drying their clothes well yeah the scene also includes a taxi cab and a traffic light indicating that image is set in an urban environment the man's unconventional choice of using car for drying clothes adds an element of surprise and intrigue to the image well, that's right. All right, so let's check with the second uh, example as well. Then we will see the other use cases of this thing. Okay, so this is the image and it says, what are the things I should be cautious about when I visit here? Okay, let's send this thing out to see how it uh, like generates this thing. Okay, all right, it's done. Okay, so it says like when visiting this location, which features a pier extending over a body of water, there are several things to be cautious about. First, be mindful of the weather conditions, as the pier might affect it by strong winds or storms, which could make it unsafe to walk on. Okay, that's true. Second, be aware of water depth and any potential hazards, such as submerged rock or debris that could pose a risk to your safety. Additionally, be cautious of the presence of wildlife, such as birds or fish, that might be attracted to the pier or the water. Finally, be respectful of the environment and other visitors, maintaining a safe distance and avoiding any actions that could disturb the natural surrounding or other people. 
Well, that's really good. Okay. All right. So let's try it with some other random image. Okay. Now I just gave it the diagram of a heart, like the cross section of the heart. And there are like six things. Okay. So now I will give it a prompt like, what is this image about? Could you please just tell labels which are in the image like one till six? Let's see what it will generate and how it will perform in this scenario. Okay. Drawing of a heart showing us various parts. Okay. Pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery, left atrium, right atrium, fifth one, and sixth one is right ventricle. Well, this is correct. Yeah, I'm amazed. Okay. All right. So now I have just given it another image and I will say, can I park here? Okay. So it says like, no, you cannot park here. The image shows that I didn't write no parking sign, which indicates that parking is prohibited in the area. Uh, this sign is meant to inform drivers that they are not allowed to park their vehicles in that specific location. Well, overall, the model's output are seem promising, okay? Now, let's test the common use cases we used to do, like, uh, in every different model, okay? So, now, what I will do, I'll simply, like, say, write a Python program to generate a six-digit random number, okay? Let's see how it performs in this scenario. Let's see how it performs in this particular scenario. This, uh, I think this one seems great. This one is looking fine, okay? Random model to generate a random integer between, okay, 100,000 and 999,999, okay, which is then printed to the console. Well, this one seems fine. And now I will say, like, we write a snake game in Python, okay? I don't know why it stopped here. What is this? I don't know why it's doing that. So it's basically a fail. Okay. So now, all right. So let's test some basic mathematics. What is four times five? All right. That's a pass. Every model gets that right. And then I will just do it like uh, a little bit tougher mathematics. I'll say like four times five minus seven divided by six plus nine minus four plus five equals a uh, question mark and explain step by step. Let's see what it will generate. No, I think that's wrong. Okay, the answer is not 14. It should have followed the board mass. Let's give it once again. All right, so I think it's a fail. The original answer is like some word 18.83 or something like that. I don't know why it's taking like 20 minus 7 divided by 6 as like 13. I think it's confused or something like that. So yeah, it's a fail. All right, so now let's test the effects, which every model gets that right. So I said, like, who was the president of the states in 1996? Like, in 1996, the president of states was Bill Clinton. So that's a pass. Okay, so, so now let's try to say, like, write a poem about AI in exactly 50 words. Okay, all right, so... AI, a marvel of modern age, a creation both praised and feared by some, with abilities beyond your own, it thrives, but raises the question about your future's plight. From medicines to space, it making strides, but must be guided by ethics and morals, for as it glows, it shapes our world, and we must ensure its path is pure and bold. Well, it doesn't seem to be a poem. Yeah, I totally agree that this model is not, uh, like, supposed to be for creative things. It's basically a model, okay, which uh, sports vision assistant. All right, so let's test with the image once more. I'll say what's wrong with this image. Okay, let's see. All right, so it says, like, the image depicts a group of people standing on a rocky cliff overlooking a body of water. However, there is a noticeable inconsistency in the scene. One of the individuals is wearing a wetsuit, which is an unusual attire for someone standing on a rocky cliff. Wetsuits are typically worn in water-related activities such as swimming or diving and not on land. Well, he is going to swim. This inconsistency in the scene creates an unrealistic and confusing visual experience for the viewer. Well, I don't believe this explanation. Okay, so yeah. All right. Another important use case is that you can provide it with text. Okay, this is a German text. And I can say, give me an English version of 
this letter i don't know whether it translated it or just giving me the random thing because i don't know the german but yeah it could be a use case okay all right another use case could be that you can provide it with image and you can say like can you generate html code for this thing all right just provide me with the code you can see right over here the code seems good and nice so yeah this one is good when we talk about like detecting the images so this model performs like great it can detect the anomalies in an image it can give you suggestions about something related to the image and all that stuff but this model is not good with like the creative writing or like mathematical operations so this model needs a lot improvement if it has to compete with like OpenAI's GPT-4, which is in my view the top-notch LLM model, okay? So I think this model has a lot to do in that aspect. Otherwise, it's a good start for someone who want to use Vision Assistant, okay? Free of cost, it's open source. So you can give it a try, okay? So that marks the end of this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.